Welcome back NYC Fragrance family, here with another video and today another discovery set. Today we're doing a discovery from a new house called Valham Parfum. Now again, the company was kind enough to send me these samples, this discovery set so that I can share it. You know, again, I gotta curate some pictures or whatever to show you what the presentation looks like of the bottles, but in the meantime, we'll go over the fragrances, right? So, the first fragrance in the discovery set, but I'll let me show you how the samples look. Four of them in there. The first sample in the discovery set from Valham Parfum is Gladio. Let's see what this smells like. So this has a very smoky, almost barbecue-like quality to it. I can't say that I've smelled a fragrance like this before. Or that it reminds me of anything. And let's see, the Discovery Set came with these nice little cards. Little description from the company. So they refer to Gladio as Maximum Strength. An intense masculine fragrance, it's magnetic. The leather heart intensified by the pungent and spicy top notes unfolds its strong and woody character in the attractive bass notes. The perfect scent for modern conquerors. So if you're looking to take over the world, you should be wearing Gladio. Top notes, nutmeg, black pepper, red berries, geranium. The heart notes of patchouli, cinnamon, cardamom, leather. And the bottom notes, guyac wood, cedar wood, sandalwood, and an animal note, so they don't even divulge what that is. It does have an animal quality. If you like smoky fragrances with an animal quality and definitely a leather vibe, woody leather, animalic, smoky, maybe it's worth a try. That's Gladio for Valhalla Parfums. Next one in the set is called Virtus. I just did a fragrance house with a fragrance called Virtus. But this is their version. And it's funny because that's the artwork of their Virtus. And if I show you the flip side of it, it does have a blue bottle. Virtus. So let's give that a spray. Now this one kind of almost puts me in the vein of thought of Creed's Silver Mountain Water a little bit. If I had to relate it to something, but not exactly, but vaguely. So this one, their description on this one is an elegant woody oriental elixir. The floral top notes are intensified by the seductive accents of the spicy heart notes. Oud and incense add precious hints evoking mysterious and intense atmosphere of warm virility. An intimate and luminous experience. Your top notes here are violet, iris, bergamot, sage, rose, jasmine. In the heart you got cedarwood, sandalwood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cloves. And in the base, you got Gaiac wood, oud, amber, vetiver, white musk, and incense. I mean, it, it is relatively nice. I'm not going to say I've smelled really anything exactly like it. Like I said, I get a Silver Mountain Water vibe, but maybe a little darker. Now that it's drying down a little bit, I'm getting more of that vetiver. I am now starting to get the oud a little bit. Not bad. It's interesting, you know, you get to discover these new houses, you never know what you're going to get. It's going to be good, it's going to be bad. You know, there's some cheap brands just trying to get on the map and they send you stuff and sometimes it's total straight up clones. So far these aren't, at least from my nose. Third one in the set is called Ego. Let's check that one out. A 
little shuffling around you, sir. So this one, this one is kind of sweet. Definitely like a fall fragrance, spicy, rich. This is deep. If you like your deep fragrances, this is probably one you're going to like. This is Ego. Let's see what they say about Ego. Ego is their absolute instinct. A spicy oriental fragrance, provocative and charismatic, reveals its narcissistic identity from the beginning. For a declaration of intense seductiveness, violet and rose melted into a strong sensuality of tonka bean and leather are then embraced by the animal source of labdanum and castorium. A captivating fragrance, intensely carnal and sophisticated. So yeah, if you want your, you want that animal instinct, real in your face type thing, that description says it all for this fragrance. So on the top you have black pepper, cloves, eucalyptus, and nutmeg. The heart, you got rose, leather, violet, vanilla, and tonka. It's funny because usually vanilla and tonka you find in the base, but... And in the base you got castorium, tobacco, labdanum, and vetiver. So this one is definitely interesting. Probably the most interesting of the three so far for me. Not bad. I get a little boozy quality too if I'm really, the more and more I smell it. Like, almost like a tequila vibe, like agave type thing. It's interesting. Very different. Okay, so the last one in the set is called Cosmo. Cosmo. So, yeah, this is their artwork for Cosmo. Here is the bottle, which is the orange bottle. I didn't show you the previous ones. I'm going to, you know, try to get these bottles and the pictures in the video if I remember to do it while I'm editing. So this is Cosmo. This is the last one in the set. Okay, so this one, okay, now, we, now we're getting to... It's almost like it went in seasons, I think. Like, this is definitely the summer fragrance. So with this last one, we're getting into the fresh territory. Cosmo. Let me go over the description on this one. This is what they call their free spirit. An aromatic fougere that celebrates the sense central journey through the nature elements. A perfect alchemy between sparkling top notes, a fruity floral heart, and a woody mineral base. A racy and bright blend that reawakens the senses and enhances the adventure spirit of each man. Top notes here are spearmint, bergamot, melangola, mint, and grapefruit. Melangola. I'm thinking pomegranate. Maybe something, I have never heard of melangola, but I'll look it up. Heart notes, rose, lily of the valley, violet, apple, and black currant. And in the base, you got cedarwood, sandalwood, seaweed, and amber. Seaweed. Hmm. I don't know about the seaweed, but I get definitely the spirit, the mint and the bergamot and the grapefruit. And that's what comes out right off the bat. There is a woodiness to it. I don't get the black currant and the apple much. But it's a nice bright freshie. I don't know, you know, if I was going to get into this house, I think I would probably lean towards Ego and Ego and Cosmo. Well, maybe not Cosmo. Ego and Gladio. Only because they're not like other fragrances that I've had. They would stand out a little more. But it's interesting. It's an interesting brand. Um, hope that you, you seek them out or you want to try them. I'm sure they have a discovery set like this you can get relatively cheap. The bottles come in 50 ml and 100 ml, so I don't know. We'll see if this brand makes any more noise. I am probably one of the first to review it or cover it. I haven't seen any reviews or anybody, anyone else posting about them on Instagram or reviewing them on YouTube, but 
we shall see. So far, they're fairly impressive, you know. Not too bad. They're not your basic type fragrances. So if you're looking for unique, they definitely are unique. So, NYC Fragrance Family, remember, till the next time, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day. Thank you.